come live. <laughs> you beat me. Oh, did I beat you? Yeah. Uh, we're live. Both of yeah. us. Separately. But together. <laughs> um, and no one's in yet, but I like to do my little spiel because uh, everybody... Because uh, my, uh, my stuff is available to watch on YouTube at the same time. Uh, and then, mm -hmm. you know, it's on YouTube later. So people who are just getting... You know, joining us from the future, we're ranking every single Pokemon. It's gonna Fuck. be a lengthy <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, you know what? This is just prep. This is just prep because I'm working on an announcement video about me uh, watching or reading uh, basically manga all Sunday for One Piece. Hmm. <laughs> um. Hi. <laughs> this is also going on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Um, uh, what's up? I'm gonna be ranking every Pokemon as well. Oh, I see a familiar fo face in my chat. Hello. Um, we're gonna be ranking as many Pokemon as we can get through. Rhett said all of them. That ain't necessarily true. It's gonna be as many as we can. <laughs> it's gonna be all of them. I can't guarantee that it will be all of them. Poker uh, man. As folks come into chat, will you let me know if you can hear both me and Rhett? Because I can't guarantee that my Discord audio is getting picked up. Hopefully it is. I can is hear you. And if, they yeah. can, if I can hear you, they can hear you, at least on my screen. Yeah, that's what I want to check, though. Yes, this is the captain. <laughs> uh, my I can hear you friend. both. My best friend is in chat. Uh, she's asking. Aha! If, yeah. Hello, <laughs> Hush's best friend. <laughs> Die. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um. But. Yeah. So, how long do we want to wait for folks to kind of filter in? Uh, that's an excellent. That's an excellent question. Um, we have a I'm lot to get through, so I'm gonna say let's just get started. Yeah, I'm gonna real quick send out a Twitch notification. Um. Also, my best friend says hello. <laughs> hello. Says me. Says you. Alright. Okay, let me send out a quick notification. God, your little your little PNGs tubers, all freaking cool and all. Thank you. Okay! All right, I just sent out a notification on the Discord, so uh, people might come, we'll find out. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let me open my browser up and let's rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, um. So Bulbasaur is first. Bulbasaur, of course. Um, Bulbasaur, personally, I think is a goddamn either high A or low S tier. I really? think it's just a root. Really swell was, Pokemon. Oh shit! Thinking, well, fu okay. How about hold on, hold on, hold on? Huh? What is the criteria? Let's go over that, shall we? Uh, my criteria is Bulbasaur is cute, therefore A. <laughs> I meant in general. I mean, that's my criteria. <laughs> is this Pokemon Bulbasaur? No, not A. Oh. <laughs> For me, it's oh, like. Is this a ranking off of? their design, how much we like them, how powerful they are in game, how powerful they are in lore. Like what what's go what what was the B? What's the drop? My kind of vibe was I was gonna go off of which designs I like the best and which ones I personally would use in game. Okay, as as so like, kind of like how we did our MHA power tier list where we started with one thing and then just kind of devolved into whatever we felt. Yeah, basically. For me, a Pretty lot of it's going to be based off of the way things look, because I just think a lot of them are cute. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to have a lot of personal attachment to a lot of these fuckers. So that, that will almost certainly uh, <laughs> affect my ranking. No, this is not a Smasher Pass ranking. No, we're not doing that. I refuse. <laughs> All right. So, but Bulbasaur, he said, are we... <laughs> he said are that we feeling... Yes, he did. I'm putting are we saying Bulbasaur... Okay? I'm putting A, because I think that it's cute, but it's not my favorite. I have a really hard time determining whether I think Bulbasaur or Squirtle is the better design starter. I think it's Bulbasaur. I think, because, like, don't get me wrong, I think Squirtle's great, mm -hmm. but 
But I think he he is just a cute little turtle guy, which don't yeah. get me wrong, I think it's great. But in terms of like your initial exposure to Pokemon, when it comes to Bulbasaur, he is like the ultimate like introduction. He's a cute guy, but he's kind of a cool little monster of indiscriminate origins that looks like the element <laughs> that he represents. Yeah. I mean, I think that out of the three original, like, baby starters, Bulbasaur is probably my favorite. Peach has, like, the fact that Charizard gets four slots is bullshit. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> my favorite Pokemon, so... Uh, don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm not gonna rank them all equally, but... I mean, I'm to be fair, Bulbasaur Venusaur and... takes three. <laughs> I'm gonna... Well, yeah, so does Blastoise. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put Bulbasaur and Ines. Oh, wow. Controversial. <laughs> I think um, he's a okay. great little design guy. I agree. Um, now let's take a look at Ivysaur. Ivysaur! Controversial opinion. S tier for me on Ivysaur. I love Ivysaur. S tier. Interesting. I am yeah. more of an A with Ivysaur. Really? I love Ivysaur. I like it. I actually think I prefer it to Bulbasaur. I, it definitely is, again, like a nice, uh, a growth. Like, he, you know, he's a darker, he's a lighter blue. Um, mm -hmm. The bulb on his back is sprouting. He looks a little tougher, a little more ready to fight. Um, yeah, I just like the little bulb on his back. I think that that's cute. I like that it's kind of opened a little bit so you can get that little flash of pink for some extra contrast. Because I feel that's like Bul Bulbasaur doesn't have a ton of contrast in its design. He's really the only very contrast green. is his eyes. He's very green. And I think that Ivysaur has that purple little, that perfect little balance of warm and cool colors that I needed from a Pokemon design. Um, higher or lower than Bulbasaur? I'm going higher. You're going higher? I think your little color theory thing convinced me. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't know why they have it in this order, but Gigantamax Venusaur. I'm putting that as C. I don't like that one very much at all. Here's the thing. I'm not a really big fan of any of the Gigantamax designs, but, Neither. um, or just Gigantamax as a whole. Same. But I like Ivysaur because I love using Bullet Seed and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. That's a good reason, uh, PJ. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to try and be as fair as possible. I'll put him in, I'll put him in D. He's just. Yeah, you know, I think you convinced me. I'm going to put him in D as well. I was going to put him in C, but I think I'm being too nice. I don't like the Gigantamaxes at all. Uh, Mega Venusaur. I like Mega Venusaur. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my absolute favorite, though. I think I would actually put Mega Venusaur in B. I'm seeing him hover in the, like, low beta C range. Uh, yeah. Just because, you know, while it is kind of a meme, it does, it's you know, it is just kind of like, oh, Venusaur, but with a, a bigger flower. Yeah, um, they really could have gone way better with his design, but they really didn't. Mm -hmm. I do like the design. I just don't think it's mm -hmm. like... If this was just like, I think it'd be a really awesome design if this was Venusaur, but Venusaur already looks, you know, Venusaur-y enough. We already yeah. have a Venusaur, and this one doesn't kind of change the mold too much. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the opposite with uh, fucking Gigantamax Venusaur. Because Gigantamax mm -hmm. Venusaur is, it's just like, well, actually, no, it's the exact same. They just went even more. They were like, flower bigger! Like, you <laughs> They just kept going. <laughs> it's true. They really did. They just said, what, what if it was bigger? And that's the, that's that's it. That's all it is. What if its flower was a bowl cut around its entire body? Uh, but <laughs> I'm going to put I'm gonna put Mega Venusaur in C. You know, yeah. I'm going to keep it at B because I do still like it. But I do agree that it's not that great. Um, yeah, he really is. Gigantamax really is a bowl cut, bowl cut looking ass. Like, just does not look great, huh? Yeah, I'm putting him in C. Yeah. Okay, so now, then that brings us Venusaur, on to Vanilla or, Venusaur. Yeah, Venusaur proper. I really like him. I don't think I like him quite as much as Ivysaur or Bulbasaur, though. I would agree, actually. No, don't get me wrong. I, I you know, like, he, you know, he's not supposed to look quite as cute. He's the final stage. He's the big boy. He's the adult. Is the, oh, hi, Horus. He's the combat Sorry. guy. So yeah. I'm fine with them not looking like it. It's just not my preference. And um, I did a I did a yellow Nuzlocke, and I, I didn't evolve my I didn't evolve my uh, Bulbasaur past Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just a little bit more attached to uh, the other two. 
Yeah, I would have to agree. I Like I said, I think that Ivysaur is, is my favorite out of the three. I do like the open bloom on Venusaur's back, but I think that they just took him a little bit too wide. He's a wide boy. He's a quite a wide little lad. And I think that they went a little, like, I appreciate that he looks kind of like a frog, like a really chunky frog. But I think that of the three of this evolution line, Ivysaur is probably my favorite. Uh, International Pork Reef. Uh, states. Let's just go ahead and say that as a whole, the GMAX designs are way better than the Mega designs. I am not going to say that as a whole. No. Um, uh, we was going to say the same about Mega Venusaur. If it was the default Venusaur, I'd be totally fine with it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, true. In fact, honestly, if this was strictly just design, I think I might put Mega Venusaur higher. Oh, I did. Um, I, I prefer Mega Venusaur's design to normal Venusaur. I just think that as a mega design, it's underwhelming. Um, I'm putting I'm putting Venusaur in A. Um, I've got Venusaur in B, right beside uh, Mega Venusaur. Okay. Charmander. Now I have a controversial opinion here. You're right. Top of S. I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that would not be controversial. <laughs> Uh, my controversial <laughs> opinion is gonna is like this is going to upset you. I'm putting Charmander in C. I don't really like Charmander that much. Really, C tier. Yeah, I'm not huge on Charmander. If I was gonna like, I'm sorry, all you folks that love Charizard. Don't get me wrong, I love Charizard too. But I think that out of the Charizard line, Charmander's the weakest design. He's <laughs> just a dramatic really? gasp. Everybody's so betrayed that I put Charmander in C. Yeah, it's my least favorite. I like Charmeleon quite a lot, actually. And maybe it's just because I really liked um, Ash's Charmeleon that just wouldn't listen to him and slept all the time because I thought it was really funny. But That's, that is a good reason. <laughs> but now, I actually prefer Charmeleon. Well, Charmander is my go-to every time I get the option to choose between the Kanto starters. He was my <laughs> first Pokemon ever. Ever. <laughs> he was my boy Brand. A little charming. Mm -hmm. He's the, yeah. you know, little son. <laughs> Design yeah. wise, I think I prefer both Bulbasaur and Squirtle. Uh huh. I 100% agree. Like, I uh, think that Charizard's design is probably the best of the final three starters. But I think that out of the first three, like the first form of all three, I think Charmander is the weakest design. Now, here's the like, thing. For just about every generation until we get to generation five, which by the way is my favorite generation, Same. um, I don't think there is really a bad choice. I when agree. it comes to the start. No, I a hundred percent agree. There are no bad choices. I just think it's the weaker of the three. I feel like if you have a good starter starter and a good ending in the line, even if the middle line is iffy, it's still mm -hmm. a good line. Agree. Um and we kind of, it was only until Gen 5 and then later where we kind of got like mix matched where it was like, oh, that's a good Pokemon there. But then it, it kind of peters off for that line. Oh, the line starts off really lame, really lame, but then kind of gets cool. Mm -hmm. Honestly, uh, Charmander has the best glow up. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I still I put agree. my boy in S. I couldn't, I couldn't put him anywhere else. Oh, Just no, because I'm still, I, I'm still he, is a, he is like a really awesome little cute but cool fire dude. He's, he's fine. I just would like, if you were to give me an option of Pokemon plushies to pick from, and it was Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle, Charmander would probably be my last choice. Really? Yeah. I like Bulbasaur. It's just a cute little plant, and I'm a, I'm a sucker for plants. I literally work at a garden center and garden in my spare time. I'm kind of biased. Um, and I like Squirtle because Squirtle, Squirtle Squad, how much more do I need to say? Also, I just want to point out that we have... Uh, six Pokemon on the board, five of which are the Bulbasaur line, and we've yeah. been live for already 15 minutes. Have we really? Shit, we need to speed this up. Okay, Charmeleon. Charmeleon. Uh, I'll put that in B. I don't like it as much as the others, but I like it better than Charmander. I'll put him below Venusaur. Fair. I have, I have him below Venusaur as well. All right, now we're at... The boys for me. Gigantamax Charizard. This might be a hot hot take, but I'm sh but I do not like Gigantamax Charizard. I like I what don't... they were going for, but there's something that massively bugs me. 
Yeah, I don't really care for it that much either. I think that uh, the Mega Charizards were far superior design-wise. I think the thing that bugs me the most about Mega Charizard, or actually not Mega Charizard, Gigantamax Charizard, mm -hmm. is how fucking small his wings are. Yeah, it's like that B-movie quote. The wings are too small to yeah. pull his fat little body off the ground. Like, dudes is disproportionate. Exactly. Man's I... not going nowhere. Now, honestly, as much as I like to shit on the Gigantamax Pokemon, mm. it's still like it's still neat enough. I'm not the biggest fan of his signature fire move. I don't think it's quite as good as the fucking regular one for mm. Dynamax Charizard. Yeah. Um, I'll put him in C. That's where I've got below him too. Mega. I, I have Mega Venusaur at the top of C right now, and I'm putting him below Mega Venusaur. I have Charmander and Gigantamax Charizard in C, and I'm putting Gigantamax below Charmander. Okay, Mega Charizard X. S. Fucking S, yes. Top I of S for me right now. Yeah, same actually. It's going in front of Ivysaur. I love Mega Charizard X. It is my absolute favorite Mega Evolution probably to date. I love Mega Charizard X. Uh, PJ said, G-Max Charizard is my favorite of the Cancer Starter G-Maxes. You have a point on the wings, though. Yeah, I just I mean, wish they were longer. They, it, like, it would also be a lot more imposing. It just kind of looks like he's got, you know, like... A little bit, like... It don't seem like wings to me. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely see, like, out of the three starters, why it would be some people's favorite. It's just not mine. I don't care for it that much. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mega Charizard Y. Now, this uh, might be... Uh, controversial but i like y more than x that is controversial because i completely disagree <laughs> design wise i think x is just you know the black and blue and he's got the blue fire it's a cool dragon really mm -hmm. cool mm -hmm. but not only do i think y just kind of seems like a natural evolution of charizard like if there were fourth evolutions i think this is what we would get from charizard mm -hmm. but fuck this guy carried me through so many battles it's insane <laughs> Mega Charizard Y shit stomped on Gabe and Joe and my other buddy Jackson's teams whenever we fought. You want to know why? My homeboy had the ability, Drought. Oh, I see. He could, he took, you know, half damage from water type moves and Solar Beam was a one turn charge and all of his fire type moves did balls damage and his special attack was cranked to high hell. He was mm -hmm. my boy. This was my go-to Mega. <laughs> It's funny because that was what Charizard X was for me. That was what I used in my X playthrough. And he was the, I named mine Rin after Rin Okumura from Blue Exorcist because it has the same color scheme. And that is like, that's why I like Charizard X is because that was what I used in all of my battles. And because I had Pokemon X because let's be, let's be completely honest with ourselves. Xerneas is a thousand times better than Yvettel. Don't come for me. I don't care. Um... I, I so you ran a you ran a physical Charizard, or did What's you just it? put special moves on Charizard X? I just put special moves on Charizard X. Mewtwo top ten. Ooh, I I don't get me wrong. I fucking love Mewtwo, but there's a shit ton of Pokemon I'll have to see. Mewtwo's uh, actually probably not one of my favorites. I like it, but I actually I prefer Mew. Obviously, I'm a sucker for anything cute. <laughs> all right, Charizard. No surprise here from me. Top of S. Probably yeah. gonna be number one. Also, thank you for subscribing. Raise Vengeance. Oh. There you Absolutely. go. Let's go. Yeah. Super awesome. Thank you so much. Raise, what's your favorite Pokemon? Um I am putting. Oh yeah, where, okay. where are you putting Charizard? This is gonna be kind of controversial, but it's actually gonna go below Charizard X. Really? Yeah, I'm okay. Let's be real. I may have aged like ten years like I've, look, it's been eight years since middle school, but I'm still the same person inside. In a dark color scheme, I'm a sucker for it. I love yeah. dark colors with lots of contrast. I'm still the person I was. <laughs> I I love the original Charizard design. Don't get me wrong. I think it's iconic and I it's fantastic, but I just am a sucker for that dark contrasting color scheme of, Pokemon, of Charizard X. It's just, you know, obviously for me, Charizard, is has been on my team more than any other Pokemon. You know, mm -hmm. he he helped me get my first Elite Four victory. He was the star. In fact, 
even even now when I'm older, like I've done uh, my my the first ever Nuzlocke I did was a fire red Nuzlocke, and mm -hmm. you know Brand did it again. You know, yep. you know, helped me absolutely crush the Elite Four. Absolute <laughs> Chad, and I've kept I've kept my Charizard through. I have my level 100 Charizard who I've kept for uh, forever, and I've made other ones. I have a shiny one, but nothing mm -hmm. beats the OG for me. He's my favorite Pokemon. Bar Very understandable. None. Very understandable. It's we not have... my favorite. I think I think I've already said my favorite, but I'm not gonna spoil it. <laughs> we have eleven Pokemon, and it's the only the first two lines. Yeah. It's okay. It's well, okay. No, this it's... is gonna speed up. This will speed no. up. Uh, for me, I for me, I've been diversifying. I'm I'm all the way down to D tier right now. Uh, cause I have Gigantamax Venusaur no. in D tier. I don't like uh, no, it. No, I'm at, I'm at, oh, I have Gigantamax Venusaur in D tier as well. I'm saying in terms of the first line of Pokemon. Oh, in for, yeah, facts. We okay. just got done with Charizard. Let's, let's speed Charizard, run this. the ninth Pokemon. Okay. Let's speed run or the this. Sixth Squirtle. Pokemon, sixth Pokemon. Squirtle. 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 Well, we can't speed run. Trust me, we'll speed up all naturally. We don't need to speed run. We'll speed up naturally when we get to the other, when we get lowered on the line. I mean, that's fair, because the starters are the ones that you have the most The starters are about. big, and they also have, like, seven forms. Um, big facts. But Squirtle! Um, A below Bulbasaur. Uh, he's, uh, I fuck, I can't decide if I want to put him higher or lower than Bulbasaur. I like, I love Squirtle, but I like Bulbasaur better. I think I like Squirtle better, um... I had a, I, I did a Y Nuzlocke and it was so goddamn easy that I put my, I, I, I box my Greninja, mm -hmm. um, or what, which Pokemon, I think it was Chespin. I did whatever I needed to do to get my rival to have, no, no, I took Fennekin or whatever so that my, shit, I took Greninja so my rival would choose Fennekin or Chespin yes. so that I could use Squirtle and have the type disadvantage. So, yeah. I, I boxed my uh, Froki and I took Squirtle and I didn't evolve him. I gave him the Everstone. So I have a level 60 mm. Squirtle. Holy uh, crap, named Bastion. Dude. Yeah, named Bastion. <laughs> he helped me get through that Nuzlocke. It was, it's so <laughs> damn easy. Um, dude. But yeah, so I, I love my little boy Squirtle. Um, yeah. He's I'm the only one that I haven't e evolved all the way. Like, even once. Um, I think that the first time I was given the opportunity to choose... Between the three original starters, Squirtle was the one I went for. Because back then, back in the day, I desperately wanted to be a water-type gym leader like Misty. Because that's who I was. Yeah. Um, but, I don't know. Bulbasaur has really grown on me in my old age. I can't help it. I'm just a grandmother who loves plants. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so like... I'm, putting them, I'm putting them where I'm putting them. Uh, I assume yeah. you have the same mindset. Uh, War Tortle. Uh, B. Le like I have to million. agree. I have to agree. He's in, he's he's my first B contender. Yeah, he's cool, but I think that of the three middle evolutions, he's one of the weaker ones. I don't really Gigantamax care that much. Blastoise. Uh, I'll put it in C below the Charizard one. I like it better than Venusaur's for sure, but I wouldn't yeah. say I love it. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Mega Blastoise. Uh, I don't like Mega Blastoise at all. I said it. I don't care. Really? Um, yeah, I'm going to put it in D. I don't like it at all. They just turned him into a mech. I didn't want well, this to be... Well, it turned him into a, uh, a howitzer. Yeah, but... Uh, I'm putting it above the Gigantamax Venusaur, obviously. But I just don't really care all that much for Mega Blastoise. It's not my favorite. I just don't I'll... like the way it looks. I think that the gun on top, while being big, makes sense for, like, the amount the of water nature. power he's going to need. But, like, I just think it's too big. It's jarring and unbalanced. I think I like it a little bit more than Mega Venusaur. Uh, I don't. Because at least Mega Venusaur is still just Venusaur with a flower. PJ saying, gave, gave the cannon turtle guns and that's all I need. <laughs> that's fair. You know, it's fair. I Like, don't get me wrong. I understand why people like it. I personally just don't. For me, the design feels top heavy. Uh, Blastoise. I like Blastoise. I'm I really like Blastoise. 
Hmm. I'm gonna say I'm gonna put it in B. I above. my I, no. I'm such a fucking sucker. I put I have the my most populated tier is fucking S. I have one I have <laughs> fucking I have eight members in S. I'm putting it in B above Charmeleon, but below Venusaur. It doesn't help that my fucking I keep jumping between design and how I personally feel about them. Uh, and oh, I'm, I'm gonna stick with how I personally feel about them. I kind that's of have fair. my influence by design. <laughs> I'm going by design have, personally, except I'm for have, when, except for the ones I get really attached to. Then of course I'll throw a little bit of like bias in. But uh, I am trying to be objective, but it's not gonna happen. Oh no, uh, I'm Caterpie. <laughs> Uh, Caterpie, it's okay. I'll put it in a C. Bottom of C, probably. It's fine. I think Caterpie's a great design. I think it's a good design. I just, as far as Pokemon go, if you were to ask me, hey, what bug type do you like? Caterpie would probably not be my first answer. Yeah, but if I go with the Pokemon I like personally, I, I like it more than the fucking, uh, like, G-Maxes. Well, I mean, yeah, but... I'll put it top of C. It's beating out Mega Blastoise and Venusaur and Gigantamax Charizard and Blastoise. Mm, I'm going to leave mine at bottom of C. Uh, Metapod, I'm going to go D. Yeah. I still like it more like, than G-Max yeah. Venusaur. Oh, yeah. Like, it's a, it's a natural evolution, but it just is very underwhelming, which makes sense. It's a chrysalis. It's not meant to be overwhelming. Amaris is asking, oh, my God, is this just 151 or all of them? This is all it's of them. all of them. All of them. We do all it all or we do none at all. <laughs> Whatever the fuck this thing is. <laughs> I didn't play the Sword and Shield expansions. <laughs> what I are you? One, it's I a played one turtle thing. Okay, we're moving on. I played one of them and it was not worth the money I spent on it. <laughs> okay. Well, that's from Legends Arceus? No way. What is? I do own Legends Arceus. I just haven't really touched too much of it. The fucking, you know, the bottom thing, the, the genie, you know, like the Gen 5 genie, but it's pink. Oh, yeah, I hate that fucking thing. It looks I hate doo -doo. that thing. It's so bad. I, I'm sorry. Like, some of the uh, Legends Arceus designs I could really get behind. That one's one I can just never accept. I fucking hate that design. It's the worst. I hate okay. it so much. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, Gigantamax, uh, Butterfree. I think it's one of the better Gigantamaxes. I would agree. I will put it at bottom of B tier. I like that one. I'm gonna put it above War Turtle. I think I like it. Maybe it's just because I'm a big Godzilla fan, so the idea of like Mothra. Oh, like a Mothra, like. yeah. <laughs> Fair. Um, uh, Butterfree, Butterfree proper. Um, I'm gonna put it in B above Butterfree Gigantamax. I agree. I think it's, again, like the. <laughs> Right now, I have uh, Metapod top of D, uh, fucking Caterpie top of C, and Butterfree top of B. So it's like, um, <laughs> uh, but with Butterfree, I, you know, obviously these Pokemon were designed to be the perfect representation of the me mechanic of evolution, and that's mm -hmm. what Bug Pokemon are. Catch, yeah. and, but it's also just the most immediately recognizable to the player. I mean, we mm -hmm. see caterpillars turn into butterflies in real life, mm -hmm. so. We, you know, we understand this kind of concept. It's a really good way to do that. And I think at least once everybody's had this kind of, this motherfucker on their team. Yeah. Uh, I know I did to fight Brock. Um, um, for me, to, it was, know. for me, it was Bye Bye Butterfree. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that episode, man, that fucked me up. <laughs> I just, and I, I'm sad that the pink one isn't in the game. I liked the pink Butterfree from Bye Bye Butterfree. Yeah, it's, it's cool. not its shiny either. It's not. It's just a pink, that's the only one, apparently. Yeah, a rare pink Butterfree. Yeah. Uh, Weedle. Uh, I'm putting that in D below Metapod. I don't care for Weedle's design. Well, I liked him more once I found out that it, his nose kind of looks like he has his mouth open with one tooth screaming. Yeah, I've, um, seen, I've heard that before. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's a great. Kakuna. I think I, I like Kakuna more than Metapod. Uh, I do too. I'm putting Kakuna in C. Also, it uh, kind of looks like he has a little tie. Yeah. So, first of all, sorry for the Jossly audio. I just smacked my microphone with a backhand because I'm a dumbass. I do that all <laughs> so, the time. 
Secondly, uh, the reason I like Kakuna is because not only is it just kind of a cute, like, chrysalis form design, it looks a lot like what an actual bee in a chrysalis looks like, which I think is really fun because it evolves into bee drill. Mm hmm I, uh, I just, I appreciate the vibes. Speaking of which, Mega Bee Drill. I like Mega Bee Drill. I'm going to put that one in B above Gigantamax Butterfree. I am doing the exact same. Regular I'm, bee drill. I'll put it in B below Gigantamax Butterfree. I'm going like to put it I, above Gigantamax Butterfree. Really? Yeah, I think I like the OG a little bit more. Obviously, the other one's cooler and has a lot more attackability, though it's only 100 more points. It's not doing him that many favors. Um, yeah. I just like, I like, I like the OG a little bit more. I like his stupid little fucking needle hand. <laughs> I like the design of the Mega Evolution more, but uh, the other one's a classic. You can't you can't diss a classic, man. Um, okay, Pidgey. Pidgey is a bird. D. What'd you say? D. D. I don't yeah. care for Pidgey. It's just it's, it's a bird. It is just a bird. Just dead ass me wrong. a bird. One of the. <laughs> I still remember on the first team I ever had in the Kanto region, I had a Pidgey and I named him Swiftwing. And he got to Pidgeot, and he was a really fast attacker that helped me a lot. So Pidgeot may be higher, but as a Pidgey's just a bird. It's just a bird. It's just a bird. All right. Pidgey... Have you heard the word? Oh, God, no. Yeah, Pidgeotto. <laughs> Pidgeotto. Uh, I like... I'll put... Yeah, I like it. C above the Gigantamax is probably. Yeah, I'm putting it below Caterpie. Um, I'm putting him above Caterpie. Yeah, I like, well, I don't know. I actually do think I like Caterpie better. Maybe I should rearrange. I like Caterpie better than that. Uh, okay. Mega Pidgeot. Mega Pidgeot is just Pidgeot, but cooler. Yeah, it's just, it's fine. I think I'm gonna put that one below Mega Blastoise in D. It's I, fine. In, I'm putting him in. Yeah, I'm putting him in B. I think I like the color. I mean, it's fine. I just think that as far as Megas go, to be honest with you, I didn't even remember that that Mega existed. It's very That's underwhelming. Fair. It's uh, it, it it does kind of fly under the radar there, but I'm mm -hmm. but um, and then regular gonna... Pidgeot. Uh, I like regular Pidgeot. I'm going to put that one at the bottom of B. Yeah, I'm going to agree. All right. As you know, Yoda was one of the final, and Pidgeot was the middle. Longer name equals further from form in my head. I did the same thing. I thought it was Pidgey, yeah. Pidgeot, Pidgeot. So did I. When I was a kid, that's what I used to do all the time. I guess we're uh... just smarter. Uh, <laughs> Alolan Rattata. Oh, it was Alolan, not Galarian. You're right. Uh, D below Pidgey. I don't care for the Alolan form of that one. Neither do I. I like Rattata, though. Oh, I love Rattata. I don't like Alolan Rattata. As a matter of fact, if I'm ready to rank Rattata, it's going in C above Pidgeotto. But I put him below. below I put him below Caterpie. Yeah, I put him below Caterpie as well. Okay. Just, uh, it's, a, sorry. Uh, Alolan, Radicate. Uh, okay. Not just gonna say it right now. Trash. I don't like Alolan Radicate at all. Motherfucker has just got cheeks full of bullshit. I don't like it. It looks cheeks creepy. full of lies. It's just cheeks of deceit. I fucking hate this dude. He looks so goofy. I like normal Radicate better than I like. Alolan, which I don't like Raticate's design either. I think Rattata is peak rat form. I like Raticate. I don't like him as much as Rattata. Yeah, I um, agree. Like, that's what I'm saying. I like Raticate. Not nearly as much as I like Rattata, though. Yeah, I'm putting I'm putting Raticate below Mega Venusaur and Blastoise. Um, I'm gonna put him below the Galarian. You know, I'm actually I'm gonna put him at the bottom of C, because I think I even like Kakuna better than Raticate, personally. All right. Also, if you're curious why our things look different, 
you should go check out Hush's Twitch channel where she's streaming right now. Yeah, I am. <laughs> well, it's a dark so... type. Of course, it's deceptive. <laughs> talking fact, about it I mean, I mean, straight facts. But at the same time, he's supposed to be a dark type. He's like got the black color scheme with the red eyes. He's supposed to be like the edgy anime freaking rat. But instead, he's got cheeks just full of bullshit. Like. He looks like she's when the full of bullshit. Yeah, he looks like when the chipmunk at my bird feeder goes like fucking to town and shoves his cheeks so full that shit's falling out as it runs away. I don't like it. It's only uh, cute when my my chipmunk does it, not when the Raticate does it. <laughs> all right, moving on. Spiro. I it's like fine. Spiro. I like Spiro more than Pidgey a lot. Yeah, I would agree. I like Spiro more than Pidgey. I like the I'm design of Spiro more than Pidgey. I'm putting Spiro in. You know, I'm, I'm putting Spiro right next to. I, I think I, I like Spiro more than I like uh, Rattata. I disagree. I prefer Rattata. It's hedonistic and greedy. What's more evil than that? <laughs> you know what? I respect it. That's a good take. I like it. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, you know what? I think Pharaoh. I like Pharaoh. I think I like Pharaoh more than Pidgeot. Really? I disagree. I don't like Pharaoh that much. I'm actually really gonna put, yeah, I'm gonna put Pharaoh and D above Alolan Raticate, but below Pidgey. I like it in, I like using it in battle, like in Pokemon TCG when I play that all the time. I love using Pharaoh because it's a great Pokemon for battling with. Design wise, which is what I'm basing most of these off of, I just don't care for it. It it's very plain. All oh, right. Shit. Uh, well, we're uh, moving sorry. on. Un momento. Guess you just got a dangerous thunderstorm alert in my area. Woohoo! <laughs> well, you're you're in a building that was constructed post the 1800s, right? Um, maybe. <laughs> these buildings <laughs> these buildings are old as fuck. Not gonna lie. <laughs> my grandmother used to live in these apartments when her husband was in college, and she said it hasn't changed at all. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You should that's still be how... fine. I, I mean, I'll be fine, but. If I have to abandon stream to go sit in the basement, that's where you know I'm at. <laughs> uh, well, moving okay. on, we've got our good boy, Solid Ekans. I like Ekans. And I like Ekans a lot more than I used to now. I'm putting him in A. Really? What prompted well, you to like uh, Ekans that much? My boy, Lean. Lean. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot Lean. My god. And, spoiler alert, I'm putting putting Arbok in S. I love Arbok. Not, uh, not as only as a cool snake. He's got the cool get up. He's got decent <laughs> stats, but he's, and he got the great ability to intimidate, but he's my boy Lean. He's got Cobra backwards. Exactly. I like Arbok. I'm putting Arbok in B personally, because I don't think I can, like, I don't think that I can, with good conscience, put Arbok above Venusaur, but I do really love Arbok. Hi. Uh, Gigantamax Pikachu. Trash. Big mouse. Okay, I'll be real here. I kind of like it, just because it's a reference to when he was a lot fatter. In the anime. I d no, I hate it. I like, look, I like original fat Pikachu. I don't like Gigantamax Pikachu. It's just really bad. Poo. I hate it. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so uh, bad. I'm putting, I'm putting him just below uh, Gigantamax Charizard. Nah, I'm putting him in trash tier. I don't like P Gigantamax Pikachu at all. It's so Man, I haven't even touched my equivalent. Na na yeah, native you haven't, hit, you oh, haven't oh. hit native tier, have you? <laughs> don't worry, we will. I can already <laughs> see him now. Um, <laughs> Pikachu! I like Pikachu! It's I like an Pikachu! I like Pikachu a lot! Pikachu's gonna go on A for me, below, Venus, uh, below Bulbasaur, but above Squirtle. Uh, was doing a random type Pokemon. I uh, ran into Platinum Nuzzle. Saw you were streaming some Pokemon. I'm staying on theme. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pikachu. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. I think Pikachu. I mean, okay, let's be real here. There's a fucking reason Pikachu's the goddamn mascot. He's oh, a great facts. design. Big Absolutely facts. great. I love Pikachu. He's cute and cool. He's an mm -hmm. electric mouse. Awesome. I but here's something that might be. I'm in my office. Here's something that might be a little bit of a uh, hot take. Oh. But Alolan Raichu is actually my favorite of all of them. 
I actually really, I, like, I wouldn't say I like it better than original Raichu, but I also do really like Alolan Raichu. So the I'm reason a... why Alolan Raichu is my favorite, if, had I run a regular Pikachu and Raichu, um, for any of my Nuzlocks, I probably would like them more, but Alolan Raichu was one of my boys in my, uh, son, in my son Nuzlocke, my son lock, if you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and Watson, the boy, with his nasty mm -hmm. plotting nature. Uh, helped me uh, absolutely kick ass. So I'm putting him in S. Um, in fact, I may it... have to rearrange some shit. Um, I'm yeah. going to keep things the same, but I'm moving a shit ton of my guys into A tier, and I'm basically reserving S for all of the boys. Fair. Um. Okay. Also, Electric Psychic is awesome. Like, that's that's another thing is electric psychic is a really cool type mashup i like that a lot sans undertale coming with the fucking you know slasher film take of since i joined kind of late i want to make it known that charmander is d tier hey see we're on the same wavelength i put mine in c <laughs> i think that charmander as far as evolutions go are we doing all the Pokemon? As many as we can get through. We're never gonna get through all of them in one in one evening. It's not happening. But I will. I mean, you go ahead. That's too ambitious for me. I got work at 7:30 tomorrow morning. It ain't happening for me. You I just won't even felt be able like... to see all the Pokemon on the list. It'll just be yeah. too big. It's too big. Um, and I'm Raichu. Probably just... I'm probably yeah. Raichu is an A for me. I love Raichu. Um, probably above Squirtle and above Pikachu, actually. I prefer Raichu to Pikachu. I think I also prefer Raichu to Pikachu. I love Raichu. I don't know if it's, like, because of Lieutenant Surge's Raichu, or if it's because I used to have a Raichu action figure that I used to, like, that was my Pokemon in my, like, little LARPing Pokemon team. But I love Raichu. <laughs> All right. With the uh, new rule set I just put up, Bastion just went up a bunch. My little Squirtle. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. Um, I can't. I can't put Lean above him, nor can I put Watson above Bastion either. Fair. Uh, Alolan Sandshrew. Garbage. I was never a beast fan. I'm putting it at the bottom of D. No, you know what? Actually, trash. I hate that thing. Really? It looks, it looks bad. The head is like it's literally just normal sand sand shrew, but with like a really weird clunky head. Hat. He's got a hat. I don't like the hat. It doesn't look natural on him. It matches with his body too much, so it looks like he's just like it almost looks like um I'm trying to think of like how to describe it. It's like when a hermit crab pokes its head out of the top of its shell. Yeah, I get that. I don't like it. <laughs> my be my best friend's yelling at me. How dare you, my baby? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I can't do it. I don't like how that one looks at all. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I don't mean to make this a personal attack, but I like Sandshrew. I just don't like a lowland Sandshrew. Um, I like Sandshrew more. Uh, good old Sandrew, Andrew the Sandrew. Yeah. Uh, just real I shame like he lost his one ground type move and became irrelevant. Um, yeah, well, whose fault is that, Rhett? The prison systems? Okay. <laughs> or, or, how about this? Don't spend all of your money on other things and forget your child at the daycare. How about that? You know what? <laughs> The slots are the reason we were able to afford those children, okay? <laughs> I can't even bitch too much because I literally helped you play the Pokemon gambling system for like three Don't hours. Don't come to me about ruining this family. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. This is probably so funny out of context to people who've not seen the Nuzlocke streams. For context, people who have not seen Nuzlocke streams, Rhett and I played Voltorb Flip on Pokemon Heart Gold so we could earn money for a Dratini, but then we realized we gambled all of our money away, and uh, 
We didn't have enough money to take our sand shrew out of the daycare center, and so it leveled up. And since when Pokemon level up in daycare centers, they can unlearn moves, it unlearned dig, and we couldn't teach it dig again, and so it lost its relevancy as a ground type. So, yeah. Rhett gambled, okay. and our child we could, died. We couldn't, we couldn't <laughs> post bail. We couldn't post bail. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, Alolan Sand Slash. Alolan Sand Slash. I like it. I just I don't do like too. it as much as Sand, Sand Slash proper. I do. I agree. I like it. That's probably a B for me. Probably above B Drill. I like it a lot. It's really cool. I can see um, that. Sand, Sh Sand Slash. I like more than Sand Shrew. I agree. I'm putting Sand PJ Slash. PJ is upset. He is. He is very much likes Alolan Sand Slash. Well, I mean, I do really like it. Don't get me wrong. Like, I know it makes it look like I don't like it because of where I placed it, but I do like Alolan Slant Sand Slash. I think of all the Alolan forms, it's probably one of the cooler ones. Um, I'm putting my Sand Slash above Arbok. I like Sand Slash a lot. It's very cute. Okay. Um, Parents with gambling addiction. <laughs> uh, okay. Here, are you ready for some controversial takes? We got yeah. the Nidoking King Nido Queen line. Let's go. Nidoran. Nidoran female. female. D. I don't like it at all. It's it's not my favorite. I don't like it one dang bit. I don't like it at all. I think I like D... it more than. I don't, I, can't, I don't like it more than Alola and Sand True. No. Uh, well, I'm putting. I'm not putting it in trash tier. I like it better than Alola and Sand True personally. I'm putting it below Alolan Rattata, though, because I don't really like it that much. I like it more than Alolan Rattata. Actually, uh, I don't know. I like kind of like Alolan Rattata, at least more than, like, Pidgey and Weedle. Mm, I it's don't. just got that cute little mustache. I mean, I don't... <laughs> the, the mustache is what I don't like. <laughs> I don't like Pokemon with facial hair, generally. It makes me uncomfortable. Uh, Nidorina! I love Nidorina. That I like Nidorina a lot be, more. That's going to be a B for me. I love Nidorina. I like Nidorina more than Alolan Sandslash. I do too. I think that of the Nidoqueen line... Okay, this is going to be another unpopular opinion. Of the Nidoqueen line, Nidorina is the best one. Really? Yep. I hate Nidoqueen. I don't like really? her one bit. As a matter of fact, I'm doing it now. Trash tier. I don't like Nidoqueen at all. The tan portions on Nidoqueen make it look like she's wearing some sort of bizarre bikini. And I think that's a really ugly and off-putting design. I, don't I like Nidoqueen. Like I just don't think I like Nidoqueen more than Nidorina. No, I hate Nidoqueen. I don't like it at all. All right, As well, Nidoran male. I like Nidoran. That one's going to be a B. I uh, like Nidoran more than Mega Pidgeot. I do too. I think I'm going to put it in B above Mega Beedrill, but below Butterfree. It's just cute. I like his little, like, buck teeth. <laughs> uh, it kind of reminds me. I hate oh, that continue. one too. Uh, Nino Reno is going in D tier for me. I don't like Nino Reno. I, just I like Nino Reno, but that's just because somebody uh, else is going to be an S tier, and it's just kind of I like him based off association. <laughs> yeah. um, I'll put him at the bottom of B. Ah, uh, no, nah, he's a D for me. The thing that's funny is I hate the starting evolution from Nido Queen's line. I love the middle, and I hate the ending. And then for the Nido King line, it's the complete opposite. I love the beginning, hate the middle, love the end. Um, but yeah, Needle King is undoubtedly S. going in A tier. No, A tier for me. I don't use it very S. often, but I like the design. King Razor. King Razor was one of my OGs in the Kanto region. Absolute god among men. Could flatten anything <laughs> with uh, Earthquake or give it cancer with uh, Toxin. Um, <laughs> absolute G among Gs. An OG. <laughs> okay. Uh... One of my boys. Clefairy. Uh, E. It's almost, like, E is gonna kind of be like my I don't care about you. 
Yeah, you like, know, I should just make a section called I don't care. Well, that is my E for me. It's not that I dislike it so much. It's more of just like I have no attachment to you whatsoever. Yeah, I mean... I'm going to put Clefairy I... in the same spot. I'm putting Clefable above it just because I, I just like Clefairy... Uh, Clefairy's design more than Clefable. Uh, yeah, I would have to agree. I like Clefairy better than Clefable as well. Okay, now Vulpix. Alolan Vulpix. I love Alolan Vulpix. It's cute. Yeah. It's a very uh, cute Pokemon. Yeah, I'll put that in a B. I like Alolan Vulpix. I'll put it in a B. Yeah, I like it too. Uh, put me right there. Regular uh, Vulpix. I think I um, like it just a little bit more. I do too. But, uh, they're probably gonna be right next to each other holding hands, because I think they're both very cute. Same here, that's what I did. <laughs> um, Alolan Ninetales. That's an A for me. I like Alolan Ninetales a lot. I think it's a great design. I never used it. I agree. I think it's a great design, but that's kind of what I'm going based off as design. So I'm putting it top of B. And I'm also, um, just like with its younger selves, putting regular Ninetales just above it. I think they're I both agree. really solid design. I agree. Uh, as someone who has played Smogon a lot, the chief the cleft line is an absolute F for me. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Jigglypuff. Um, Jigglypuff's like a C for me. I don't love yeah, it. Don't like but I don't like being rested in Smash. No, I fucking hate it in Smash. Cause Ryan always kicks my ass with dumb Jigglypuff, and I hate it. He makes me fucking sleep all the time, and I can't jump around like I want to. It's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Pisses me off so bad. It's either like him, it's either Jigglypuff or Kirby. They either put me to sleep or suck, like do the suck in and shoot thing. I hate it. And don't get me wrong, I like how iconic it is. It's a really neat designed Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Wigglytuff is also going below fucking. It's an E. I, I had really? so much trouble when I was younger differentiating fucking Clefairy, Wigglytuff, Jig, uh, fucking Clefable, and Jigglypuff. Like, you're I... the pink, cute things. Why do you evolve into you? What's going on? I'm putting Wigglytuff above Jigglypuff. I like Wigglytuff. But allow me to explain context here. The reason I like Wigglytuff is because in Pokemon Mystery Dungeons, the guild leader is a Wigglytuff, and I think he's really funny. Yeah? Yeah. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon influences some of my thoughts on these Pokemon because... Some, giving them character in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon really helped bring them to life for me. Because otherwise, I wouldn't give two shits about it. But having it be the guild leader in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I thought it was fun. That's fair. I didn't really play any of the Mystery Dungeon games. Oh, I love the Mystery Dungeon games. I played Voltorb Flip. I didn't even play <laughs> I didn't even play the regular games. I just played Voltorb Flip. Voltorb Flip. Or, or the slot machine. More realistically, like more really, I played the slot machine in fucking the game corner. That's what I did. Okay, Zubat. so Zubat. I like Zubat a lot. It's going to be a B for me. I uh, like him. I like him about as much as I like B. Ah. As as I like I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him below Vulpix, but above B Drill. I'm gonna put him at the bottom of B. Just there is that really annoying factor to. It. Actually, I'm putting him above. Ah, I'm putting him below. Ah, yeah, I'm putting him below Caterpie. Aw, I like Zubat though. It's cute. I love. Bats. I like Zubat, but. I like one Zubat, okay? <laughs> when there's a billion Zubats, it kind of, you know. Mm -hmm. I like Golbat less than I like Zubat. I do too. I don't like Golbat's mouth. I think that Zubat and Crobat are where the line shines. Can uh, it even gonna... close its mouth? Yes, it can, but it just looks bad. Uh, Sans Undertale asks, you might have already answered this, but what are your favorite Pokemon? You're looking at him. Charizard. Charizard's my number one favorite Pokemon of all time. He was my first Pokemon a... ever. <laughs> Everything about him is awesome. Uh, he has two Megas and one Gigantamax, so he's better than your po favorite Pokemon. Um... Fuck off. <laughs> uh, I have a very weird and obscure favorite Pokemon. I like the Levan. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, damn it. Yeah. I was gonna. I was gonna have. I was gonna have people get. Guess. Okay. Well, let's have them guess. Which of the Levan the three Levani lines, is my favorite? There's, uh... Can I guess? Yes. Swaddle. Swaddle, the first one? Yes. Incorrect. I see my Damn best it. friend in the... My best friend in the chat got it. Swadloon. Well, you know what? <laughs> Your best friend doesn't have 4,000 subscribers, so... <laughs> Bet. 
Damn. Yeah, but my best friend knows my favorite of the Lee Vanny line, so I think that she wins. <laughs> yes, uh, Swadloon so is my favorite. So Oddish. <laughs> um, Oddish. I like Oddish. Oddish is cute. It's going to go into I like Oddish. <laughs> she says get dunked on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like Oddish. Uh, you win this round. <laughs> I like Oddish. Uh, I, I like Oddish. I'm keeping a lot of, like, the earlier route Pokemon just in C. I'm putting uh, a lot of mine in B, actually. If I think they're yeah, cute, they I like them. I like them, but they're not, they're not, like, whoa, in my heart kind of thing, you know? Yeah. All right, Gloom. Gloom. I'm not a Gloom guy. Not really um, big on the Gloom. I'll put it in C. Gloom and Doom. I'm putting Gloom at the bottom of C. Yeah, same. Vileplume! I think it's a lot cooler. I like Vileplume. It's going to go in B for me. Based he's got off a little the... hat. Yeah, it's based off the corpse flower, so he's a stinky lad. Do you know what that... You know that flower he's based off of? Is uh -huh. it blooms like flowers. It blooms like once every three years and smells like rotting meat. Holy shit. It's pretty cool. Cookie just, Cookie just dropped a cog or whatever the hell that is. A what? It's a, it's a pog face, but it looks like a cog and it's spinning. Whoa! All right, Paris. I like Paris. It's. Cute. I like Paris too. I like Paris. I think. Okay, I I don't know if I like it more than Caterpie. I think I like it more than Caterpie. Yeah, you too. It's going in B uh, for me. I like Paris quite a bit. I like Parasect as well. I like Parasect better than Paris. Do you like it more than Viaplume? No. I like Viaplume a lot. I like that it's just a cute little flower with a hat. I think that's very sweet. I like, I think I like Parasect just a little bit more than Viaplume. Really? Everybody's drunk I... in coggers now. <laughs> I love, um, I love that uh, Parasect is like, a, it's, the, it's that fungus that takes over bugs. Yeah, cordyceps. Cordyceps, yeah. I like that. I think that's pretty Otherwise good. known as the walking last ones. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. A Venonat. That's gonna be a big fat D. Yeah, I'm not uh, the biggest uh, Nat fan. Yeah, it's probably gonna go like closer to the top of D, because I do think it's really cute. I just think it's one of the more forgettable Pokemon. I'll put it in between uh, Kakuna and Metapod. Holy, like, hey, I actually put mine between Metapod and Weedle. <laughs> um, Venomoth is just, I don't care. I, it's a lot stronger, but I just don't care for it nearly as much as I like Butterfly. No, I'm putting it at the bottom of D. I like Venonat better than I like Venomoth. I'm putting it at the top of D. Nah, you're, you're I don't right. like it very much. Um, it's boring. Diglett, F, dumb. Oh. No. Are you kidding me? Where are the rest of its body? I, I need to see this. It doesn't Alolan, exist. Alolan Diglett with the, like, the little sprig of hair at the top? That's funny. I like it. Okay, Diglett Alolan is... Diglett is F. Regular Diglett is just below it. I think I do like the color and the hair on Aww. Alolan Diglett a little bit more. I like Diglett. It's going to be a C for me. Bottom of C, yeah, but still a C. We have our first native. Oh no. Uh, there's another trash for me, but it's not from the Diglets, it's from the Doug Trios, because I don't like the Doug Trio with the long blonde hair. Yes, uh, Alolan Doug Trio is our first native tier. I Whoever like can't it. drop a native emote right now, that's what this <laughs> mo ever is. <laughs> um, and I like, I like Doug Trio, but. I'll do it uh... for you guys. I'll do it there. Dropping two for everybody. <laughs> I see a Pokemon coming up that if I don't put it in a certain tier, I'm fairly certain my friend will actually drive here and kill me. God damn, there are so many Meowths, too. There's a lot of Meowths. Fabio uh, Dugtrio is native tier? Uh, yes. Facts. Um, Alolan Meowth doing his little sassy pose. I like Alolan Meowth. I like it's Alolan Meowth. About it's as much as I like regular Meowth. Yeah, it's Agreed. A it's a C. Uh, Perzerker. Here's the thing. I know that if I don't put this in a high tier, my best friend is going to kill me. 
she loves Berserker. <laughs> and you know, it's it's really grown on me a lot as well. I think that if like at the alternate forms of Pokemon, I think that Berserker is actually probably one of the funnier and cute ones. So I'll probably put it in a B. I've just, I never used Berserker. I always forgot that it existed. I think it looks neat. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm mostly going based off of a, <laughs> yeah, she said in chat, Trash Goblin King. <laughs> I'm putting it uh, at top of E, not because I like dislike it. I just I have no emotions towards it. I think fair. it looks neat. I just haven't really used it. I'm basing most of my range off of design, and I do like the design of Berserker. I think it's cute. Moving uh, on to the the guns don't work, John Garfield uh, Gigantamax. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's such an obscure reference. <laughs> Um, I actually like the long boy meow. <laughs> so you don't like chonky, chonky chew, but you like long meow, huh? Uh, yeah, which, um, I'm biased. Have you not seen my long cat plushie? Uh, I think I have. Yeah, when you, I'm sure that when you came over to visit, you've seen it. The long cat, Steve. That's, I, I like long, I like the long boy. It's, he's cute <laughs> and very soft. And I, I like to imagine, like, they have a Meowth body, like, body pillow that is like that, and I, I just love it. It's perfect for hugging. I enjoy it. Uh, Meowth. I like Meowth. I think I like Meowth just a little bit more than uh, Alolan Meowth. Yeah, I would probably agree with that. Alolan Persian. F. Trash, native. trash, trash, I'm putting trash. It in native. It's horrible. It's not quite as it. it's not quite as native as Alolan Dark Trio. No, I sure. disagree. I disagree. Persian goes below it. It's awful. No way. Look yeah. at their hair. I look at his face. I hate I believe, that thing. I believe that there's a possibility for Alolan, uh, for for Persians to go over there, eat shit, and then get stung by a bunch of bee drills and have their faces <laughs> genetically morphed to be like that, then I do Doug Trio growing hair. No, the reason... No, here's the thing. The reason behind the Persian having big cheeks actually makes a lot of sense because intact male cats grow big cheeks like that because it protects their faces and vital or and necks and vital organs and fights. And so if you ever have an unmutered male cat that's getting into fights all the time, they're going to have those big swollen cheeks. Which is why when you see really old alley cats that get adopted and then neutered, they have like these really floppy faces because their cheeks kind of deflate and leave all the skin behind. So like it makes sense because he's a cat that fights, but it looks terrible. I don't care if it's accurate. It looks bad. <laughs> There's your little biology lesson of the day. Yeah, I'm just not girl, feeling it. Girl, I'm not reading that chat message out loud. That's not happening. <laughs> No. <laughs> if I'm you just right. got here, if you just got here, you should go check out Hush's stream at her Twitch channel of Yo. the same name. Yeah. <laughs> you can also uh, see how her list differs from mine. Yeah, which is quite a lot. There's quite a bit of you could have here. you could have my stream open on YouTube and her stream opened on Twitch. Hey yo. And I'm listening to the Temi Village theme, theme right now, so you know it's about to be lit. Uh, I'm listening to Pokemon because I'm more on theme. Anyways, Persian! Yeah, I don't want to get copy striked on YouTube. Uh, Persian, I like. Uh, below uh, Meowth, but still cool. I agree. Uh, Psyduck. Psyduck! Guy Duck is a guy chip. Um, I'll put him above Pikachu. Nah. I'm putting him in C above Diglett. Uh, Golduck. Also How can you disrespect Guy Duck like that? I just don't like Psyduck. It's fine. The eyes creep me out. I Guy Duck smirks for your transgression. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> Golduck. Uh, bottom. Uh, bottom. Nah, I'm a big me, Golduck guy. For me, it's going above Psyduck. I like Golduck better. Wait, what channel, Cookie Ask? Hush, capital H-U-S-H. -H. It's Hush Hush Kitten is the full name. But I go by Hush. <laughs> um, 
if you're in the Discord, the Custodian's Discord, I did link it in one of the, like, a link to the stream. Uh, I probably should have tweeted it as well, but I didn't. Sorry. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> but, um, uh, okay. Mankey. We still have so many to go before we get to fucking Mewtwo. Bro, I told you I'm not doing them all tonight. What time is it actually? I think I'm gonna go for like maybe 20 more minutes and then I'm gonna call we, it. We have to finish Kanto. We have to finish Kanto. Okay, we'll Even finish if... Kanto, but this is gonna be a beast, so we better hustle. We better hoof Thank it. Thank you. Uh, it's fine. Uh, it's Steve. fine. Uh, fucking, I'm putting it. I think I like it a little bit more than Meowth. Actually, I think I like Meowth a little bit more. Fuck. Shit. Okay, uh, higher than Golbat. Okay. Primate. Uh, D. I don't like it because it always uses fucking rock slide whenever I have a fucking flying type out. I hate it. Okay. Uh, I don't like F. it either. Top of F because it's still pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not ranking that because I have not used it even though the new Growlithe. The new Growlithe? I like it. It's cute. It's going to be a B for me. I'm not ranking uh, them because I haven't seen them in any form of combat action or anything even though the designs do look really good. I'm just going straight to Growlithe. I'm going based off of designs and I think that Alolan, the new Growlithe is cute. But the other, the old Growlithe is better. Um, new Arcanine. Eh. Uh, I had a, I had a Arcanine on my playthrough. The, uh, in my Sunlock, the same with Watson. His name was Bowser. Yeah. Uh, fuck it. Allow me, allow me to specify. My eh is for the new design of Growlithe. Uh, not Growlithe, uh, Arcanine. The old design of Arcanine, that's an S tier, baby. I love Arcanine. God, I'm such a Gen 1, or I haven't put any generation of Pokemon that isn't Gen 1 on here. <laughs> okay. Guys, down here, Arcanine even though you are darn cute. Okay. Uh, Politoed. Politoed. No, that's Poly... Yeah, that's Poly Polytoad. Polytoad. Polytoad's cool. It's cute fine. Cute little thing. It's not anything special, but it's kind of cute. Yeah, I'll put it in C. It's cute. I'll put it above Zubat. Polyworld. Okay. Doesn't have a I mouth. Don't, don't like it that much. I don't know how it eats. Putting it below Polytoad. Polyrath. A lot cooler. Like, angry. I don't angry really care for it. I don't really care for it that much. It's going to go next to Polyworld for me. I think it's cooler because it's angry. And I'm a guy and that, that makes it cool. Abra! <laughs> okay, now hey. we're talking. A tier for sure. Look at that little lad. Really cool. He's cute. I like him. He's got kind of weird feet, but I like him a lot. He's cool. Kadabra. Kadabra. Not as cool. C. Not, yeah, not, not, like as, not as cool. He's, he's got a spoon. I understand why he's got a spoon. I understand the reason why he has a spoon. But he's still got a spoon. I don't like his little... I just don't like his design. I think his tail's too big. He Mega Alkazam. He has uh, the entire cabinet. <laughs> the whole cutlery drawer. Let's go. Absolutely. Um, I think it's I'll fine. Him, I think I like him a little bit more than Polyrath. Regular Alkazam. Really hey, good. I love really good. regular Alkazam. It's very good. Fucking okay, hits like a truck. Great Pokemon. Great design. Mm -hmm. Got two spoons. Yeah. Two, two spoons. spoons right, twice the power. Exactly. Ma uh, Machop. I like Machop. Uh, it's... Eh. I don't like it that much. I like Machop. Bottom of A. Also, uh, Machoke. May she rest in peace. Good old Bezos. Yeah. I'm sad about that. No, Bezos never did make it to the league. I just can't, can't, can't uh, put her in ass. I'm sorry, but uh, uh, Machoke and Machop are both going to be a D tier for me, bottom of D. I don't like either of them that much. I like them. Eh. But I mean, uh, this is really all that matters, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, Gigantomax, my champ, is kind of neat. Nah, bottom of D for me as well. I don't like that that much. It's not. 
It's it kind of like neat. Yeah. It looks like it's trying too hard to be Iron Giant. It just re it reminds me of this fucking character from a video game for the PlayStation 2 called War of the Monsters. Um, uh -huh. There was a there was a giant monster you could play as, as they were all giant monsters, where you were like this giant volcano man with four arms, and he he was all completely covered in like lava rock, like magma shit, <laughs> and it was really he cool. And the little lava shit with the four arms is reminding me of that, and he's really big, so it's reminding you know, me of War of the Monsters. Motherfucker do look like he's straight out of Ben 10, for real. Forearms! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Speaking of forearms, Machop, or Machamp proper. Machamp. I like Machamp better than all the other th the other two. Um, I'll probably put that one at the bottom of C, above Kadabra. I'm putting, I'm putting uh, Machop above Machamp above Machoke. Weedle! Uh, Not Weedle, fucking... Bellsprout. Bellsprout. That's Bellsprout. what it is. Now Bellsprout. we're fucking talking. That's an A, baby. War of the Monsters is a PS4 version, too. I know I owned it when I still had my PlayStation 4. <laughs> Bellsprout's an A, baby. It's a plant. It's cute. It's got little legs, and it runs. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Uh, probably not as much as I like the Machop line. I like it just because it reminds me of the fucking pea shooter from Quest vs. Zombies. <laughs> That's also very true. Yeah, I had to sell my cute. PS4 to uh, afford college, or at least aid in my effort to afford college. Oh, rip. Um, Weeping Bell, D. Uh, you got the name wrong, Instant Native Tier? <laughs> <laughs> if he says the name wrong, it's just banished to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Weepin' Bell, not as much as I like, uh, yeah. fucking Bell Sprout. I've got it in D tier. I don't care for Weepin' Bell at all. Victory Bell, uh, however, that's an Victory A, Bell, is, yeah, it's a not cooler. It's a pitcher plant. Fuck cool. Yeah. I love carnivorous plants, so I'm a sucker for it. College rooting everything, I can't believe it. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, big facts. Uh, college uh, makes me regret liking biology. <laughs> tentacool. Eh, I don't like Tentacool that much. That's a D for me. I think I like... Uh, I don't like... Uh, yeah, there we go. Tentacruel! Now that one is a B. I like Tentacruel. I think it's got a neat design. I do as well. I also think it's pretty good in combat. Yeah. I used to fight with the Tentacruel when I played with my Sinnoh team. Uh, Alolan Geodude. I yes. like it just slightly more. I'm putting it in D. I like it just slightly more than regular Geodude because at least it's like, oh, the magnetic rock thing. No, trash. <laughs> he looks like he looks like a meatball that rolled in some hair. It's so bad. I don't like him. A lowland graveler. Eh. I'm putting him at bottom B. I'm putting him in D. Just slightly uh, above. Just slightly above regular graveler. Yeah. Ugh. And then we Alolan have this golem. Golem. Trash. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I know you're not gonna like it, but I kind of like the idea of like his electric magnetic properties. You know, because you know, like those metal shavings, like graphite and shit, that are yeah. attracted to magnets. That's what his beard is. It's not actually a beard. Oh no no! I like. I totally get where his design is coming from. Like theoretically, I just hate it. I'm just not the biggest fan of the Graveler line in general. I like the Graveler line, but biased because I used to play with a golem on my team. But I hate a Lolan uh, golem. I just I don't like Pokemon that have facial hair in general. I just think I don't like Pokemon weird. having facial hair for no reason. Like while no, it's not I the just same, don't like it. <laughs> while it's not the same, there's a certain Pokemon that when we you know in seven weeks when we finally get to Gen five. <laughs> um, that has a that has a, let's call it more of a human like hair, but the reason why it has the hair, and what the hair looks like is cool enough and uh, explained well enough that I'm like, yeah, it's totally okay for him to have that hairstyle. Makes sense. Yeah. Nah, for me, I just I don't like it. I don't care what the logic is. It's kind of like with um, a lowland Persian. I know what the logic behind it is, and it makes sense with the the like what they're going for. I just hate it. Um, Golem, however, I like. I'm gonna put that one in a B tier. My Little Ponytop. 
<laughs> I love this little pony that it's cute. Would I it say is it's pretty damn cute? Uh, I put it. I don't know. I think I'll put it. I'll put it in B tier. I like it. It's cute. Uh, yeah, it's. It, I don't like it more than the Vulpix. No, definitely not more than Vulpix. Like it's cute, but don't. We're not gonna go crazy here. <laughs> Regular Ponyta, absolute um, Chad. One tier above the other one, I think. Well, Blitzen, absolute Chad among Chads. Absolute facts, big facts. Blitzen kind of killed it. Friendship is fairy type. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Alolan Rapidash. Uh, controversial, but not my favorite. I'm gonna have to go like D on that one. Really? I like. I, I, yeah. I don't think I like it more than Ponyta. I think Ponyta is more simple design really like helps the cute factor yeah because like i'll put a bottom of b i do like it i do like it i think it's uh, kind of a, like of course it's a unicorn of course we're gonna get a fucking unicorn poke well yeah i just think that if they're gonna do a unicorn form i like the direction they went with the ponita version way more than i like the rapidash version i just think that the ponita is just way cuter it is it looks like cotton um, candy <laughs> it does. Uh, Rampadash. That one is going to go above. I'm going to put it in Rampadash is the bottom of the vest. I couldn't ha I can't help it. My boy Blitzen helped Girl. us get to uh, get to and pass the Elite 4 of Platinum in a Nuzlocke. I mean, he killed his own family for us. I mean, I God's sake, if that doesn't earn you S, like I mean, I won't lie, Blitzen was dedicated. Okay. Slow. Uh, Galarian Slowbro, uh, uh, native. Really? You don't like it? Slowbo, Slowbro, but with mustard. I don't really like it that much either, honestly. I thought it was very underwhelming. Um, normal Slowbro, I'll put that in a C. I think he's fine. I'll put a top of D. He's fine. Um, uh, Galarian, uh, Slow. Fucking... Oh no, what's his name? Rhett making his Pokemon doing an Itachi? It was to make him strong, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> what is this guy's name? Oh, we mixed him up. The first one was Slow Poke. This is Slow Poke. That's what I thought. Yeah, I was like, this isn't because the... then it's Slow King. Yeah. yeah. Uh,. Alola, uh, Galarian Slowbro, uh, fucking F. Really? And I like it I more than Mustard Slowpoke, but fucking, my god, it's, it's slow, slow bro, but with jaundice. <laughs> it's not jaundice, it's not even yellow. That's how jaundiced it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks like he's, it, it looks like he's lost circulation to certain parts of his body. <laughs> he's being asphyxiated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, mega. Mega slow bro. slow, bro. I hate that. It's trash. Don't like it one damn bit. I'm sorry. He it looks like he's just. He looks like, uh, freaking. Like, you know how when small animals that, like, go into toilet paper tubes sometimes will get stuck in them? It's like a yes. hamster that got stuck in a toilet paper tube. I don't like it. I just don't like what it implies. All right. Uh, regular slow, bro. <laughs> It's I like fun. regular slow, bro. It's not my favorite. I don't like the evolutionary ideology of it evolves because something munched on its tail. Don't get yeah. that. Yeah. I don't get it either, especially since we don't have any Pokemon that look like the one that's on its tail. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, who the fuck be doing that? Like, people say Shelter, and I'm like, Shelter don't look, don't look Shelter looks like that. nothing like that. Shelter looks nothing like that. Um, Magnemite. Magnemite. <laughs> I like Magnemite a lot. I do too. It's cute. Cute little electric eyeball. Does cool things, and the police use it to like break into places and like yeah. pass by lock. Wee woo wee woo. It's Magnetone, Magnezone also, coming through. Also, it was my uh, it was my first ever shiny Pokemon. Really? Uh huh. Just happened I'll up be, on it in the wild. I'll be damned. Um, my first shiny was a Drillbur, and I got it by mistake because when I was younger, I used to really love Excadrill. So after I won the Elite Four with my Excadrill named Zigzag, 
I caught another Excadrill and named her, I think her name was Xena. And uh, I bred three boxes full of them just because I really liked Drillbur and wanted to have a lot. <laughs> and, I and I accidentally bred a pink one and didn't realize it until I went back and revisited my Pokemon X and Y game. No, X and Y, I'm sorry. Uh, black and white. And was scrolling through and realized that I just had a shiny one sitting in a box with, that was completely full of other just normal Drillbur. <laughs> <laughs> my PJ said my very my first ever shiny was a Doug Trio and Y. Huh. Oh really? Huh. Alright, but here's the thing. I'm not the biggest fan of fucking Magneton. Mag really? I don't mind it. I just like the idea that it evolves again just because three of them get stuck together. Yeah, fair. I uh, like it more than Graveler and Geodude. Okay, Farfetch'd. Galarian Farfetch'd. He's Farfetch'd, but Wiki Lee joke. Um, I, I was like never it. that big of a Farfetch'd guy either. I'm not big on Farfetch'd, but I like Galarian better than the regular, actually. Yeah, I think I agree. I'm putting them so low, though, because I've never used them, and there's I'm just nothing. Them... Yeah, you know, I think you're right. I'm gonna put them in D. <laughs> We're so Do -do close. Doduo! I like Doduo. Yeah, it's gonna be a C for me. I like Doduo. Yeah. I don't think I like it more than... Actually, I think I like it a little bit more than uh, Pidgeot. Yeah. It's just I like Dodrio like as well. Wait a bird. I also like Dugtrio. Dodrio. Dodrio. Yeah, sorry. It's cute. Stop. Stop it. Um, Seal. I'm gonna put that one in D. I think of the Seal Pokemon we have, it's the weakest one. Really lame. I'm I, honestly, I'm, I'm, I think I might just put it in native. Really? It, it's just a seal. Now, don't get me wrong. It's got a cute seal. little dog face. I mean, it's still but, like, cute. It's just not that good. All right, fine. I'll put it in F. I'll put it above fucking Diglett. <laughs> Dugong. Okay. I like more. I like Dugong a lot more. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put that above Slowbro. I like Dugong a quite a bit. I it's was just, just thinking about putting it above Slowbro too. Yeah, it's just a cute little lad. A Lowland Grimer. I like a Lowland Grimer. Uh huh. It's not bad. Uh, bottom of C maybe. No, cause I I like some of the ones in D better. Um, I'm gonna put it in D above Pharaoh, but no, above Clefable, but below Pidgey and Clefairy. I'm putting regular Grimer just slightly below it. Really? Yeah, you know what? Um, I have to agree. I like purple Grimer, like traditional Grimer, but I think Alolan's cooler. I'm putting Speaking Alolan of, Muck in I'm C? Putting, I'm putting it in C and close to the... No, probably not close to the top, but pretty decently far up. I do quite like uh, Alolan Muck. And I'm, unlike with the previous two, I'm putting regular Muck above it by one. I like regular muck just a little bit more. Really? I like it just a little bit less. I like the fun colors of Alolan muck. Shelder. Shelder. Shelder time. Shelder's a bee. I like Shelder. It's very <laughs> cute. <laughs> I'm the biggest Shelder guy. Really? It's I'll funny. put him above. A, I'll put him below Slowpoke. It's just a clam with a tongue sticking out. How can you not like that? It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pure being. <laughs> Speaking of the opposite of a pure being, oh, uh, I hate, Oyster. I hate Cloyster. That one's just in trash tier, man. They knew what they were doing and they did it bad. It's bad. I don't like it. You know, in Gen One, it was its its body was oriented sideways. Really? Mm-hmm. I'll be damned. I did not know that. Ghastly. I'll put it above Venomoth. Ghastly, 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 you're going in the B tier because I think you're a good little lad. <laughs> I'll put you here. Haunter! I'll... Haunter! I... That's an A, baby. I have to put them high just because of how many we massacred uh, for oh, Trunks' I... bloodlust. <laughs> I just love Haunter. Uh, my favorite level on Poke Park Wii was the ghost level, and I'd go chill with all the Haunters. <laughs> I, I, I have, I'm sorry if you guys don't get these references. I have played some of the most obscure ass, like, like, 
Pokemon, Pokemon games, games ever. Game. Also, I just have to, one second, I have to check something real quick. Cookie delivery, thank you for following. We reached my follower goal. Let's go. All right. That means eventually I'm going to be doing some art streams. Sick. I'm excited for that. I've been really in the mood to do art streams. And it's perfect that we hit that goal because next week, not, not next week, but next month is art fight. So I can start streaming all of my art fight stuff. That'll be sweet. Now I just got to figure out the logistics of streaming my tablet to my computer. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gigantamax fucking Gengar. Uh. E. I'm the biggest fan. Yeah, I, I'm putting it in D. Probably bottom of D. Uh. Mega one Gengar. Second. W one second here. Uh, that one's a B for me. I have to double check something though. One sec. I like it more than Mega Alakazam. The dangerous thunderstorm is here, and the rain is pounding against my office window. I had to make sure my window was not leaking. <laughs> it's okay. Um, Gengar. Gengar! S. Like S. the boy. S. I have him in S. I had a little Gengar named fucking Casper. Pretty original, <laughs> I know. In yeah. my sunlock. <laughs> I just like Gengar. I like Onyx him a lot. Uh, Onyx, yeah, I knew you were gonna do that. Native. Uh, I'm gonna put Nominative. it in C, I think. The bottom of the snow. I do oh, it like... just back to see that you've done this to a lowland duck trio. <laughs> yeah. It's no longer the top of native. Onyx, top of native. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see here. Drowsy, I don't like it. Hypno, also trash. Don't like either of them. Sorry, not sorry. It's cool that they tried to go for the tapir route because tapirs are cool animals. Don't I'm just care. tired of seeing it in all the hentai. Um... <laughs> no, that's so vile. Oh my God, <laughs> that's vile as hell. <laughs> this is, the vibes just instantly soured. This is so <laughs> bad. <laughs> Krabby! I, I like Krabby. the shit out of Krabby. Krabby's I like Krabby. Dope. Uh, Krabby's gonna go B for me. I like, yeah, Krabby, ooh. Krab, I, Krabby's higher than Tetsu Cruel. Yeah. Uh, Gigantamax. I hate that thing. Goodbye. Trash. Really? Yes, I hate the Gigantamax. That looks awful. I like it more than other Gigantamax. No, I but don't I'm... like it one bit. Kingler! I love Kingler, cool. dude. I like Krabby better. I think they're, they're both just as cool to me. Uh, I'll probably put it one yeah. below Krabby. Native. Native. Oh, yeah, I don't like any of these either. All trash. Goodbye. Voltorb, the king of native. Yeah, Voltorb sucks. Though I have to put, if I'm going to put any of them a little higher than the other, uh, the one, the Electrode from Legends Arceus is going to be above the other three just because at least it has a kind of funny face. Yeah? Yeah, he's just mad. <laughs> so angry execute f bunch of uh, eggs yeah i don't really care for execute either alolan executor pretty cool actually i like the palm tree no i like the original one better i like the original better as well but i think the palm tree idea is really cool for the alola region it is cool for the alola region i think it's like a good design choice but i just think i like the other one better it's also like, in my opinion, one of the best like variant ideas where it's like, oh, there's more sun and a little taller. Yeah, so it makes sense for sure, for sure. And then of course it fits because then it's a palm tree. Yeah. Cubone. I like Cubone. Cubone's neat. He's going. I'm my oh. favorite. He is going close to top of B. I'm a big Cubone enjoyer. Uh, same with right. Alolan Marowak. I'm a big Alolan Marowak enjoyer. Yeah, a little Marowak's cool. I like the fire dancer shtick. Putting you below Ghastly. Um, I actually think I like it better than normal Marowak. I think I like Cubone more than Marowak. Oh, absolutely. Cubone's peak design. Alright, the Hitmons. Hitmon Lee! Hitmon Lee. 
Trash. I like him on Lee. Bruce Lee. Nope, I don't like him. I'm a martial Bruce artist. Lee. I'm required to like Bruce Lee. I don't like the design of it. It looks bad. Hitmonchan's my favorite. Hitmonchan. Really? I disagree, and I guess you're wrong. Um, moving on. I know. I'm not uh, <laughs> wrong. You are wrong. I like Hitmonchan, but my favorite of that line is Hitmontop. Lucky tongue, native. Ah, it's not native. Come I on, like Lucky tongue. A little fair. Ah, it's, it's more like it. Yeah. Like the best of the it, pink guys. I'll put it in D. That's fine. It's like the best of the pink dudes. Yeah. You know, like wiggly tough, Clefairy, Clefairy tough. You know. Yeah. Uh, I like no. I like wiggly tough better. And Clefairy. He just kind of looks like the Alaskan bullworm from SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> but with a tongue. Yeah, I get you. Coffee. <laughs> uh, coffee. Uh, he can go and see. He's fine. Bottom of C. He's all right. No strong feelings for him. Steam stack coughing. Okay. Am I missing a low is... in Marowak somewhere? You might be. Uh, this is the one case where facial hair on Pokemon is acceptable. Coughing. And it is with coughing. I like the steam stack coughing. stacks coughing. Oh, sorry. Or wheezing. 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 Yes. I like wheezing. That wheezing particularly is good. Normal Rye wheezing, horn. I actually am going to put one below it because I like the other one better. I like coughing more than wheezing. Um, I like original. I like uh, steam stacks wheezing more than I like coughing. I think Rhyhorn is a top tier design. I like Rhyhorn. It's a stocky little lad. I like him. Oh, yeah, it is. And so is Rhydon. He's going to go I think I like Crabby. Rhyhorn's design more. More than Rhydon. Really? Rhydon. No, I like Rhydon better. Did you know that Rhydon and Charizard say the same uh, roar? No, I did not. Oh, Clefairy! Oh. Uh, it's no. Bottom of D. That thing kind of sucks, low key. Tangela. Now we're talking. A. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Bottom of C. He reminds me of the glare that they almost put in Minecraft. I'm still so angry that they didn't put that anxious little shrub into the game. So infuriating. Why can't I just have a, f a shrub that's sentient? That's a good question. Yeah. Mega Kangas Khan. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, bottom of C. It's fine. Normal Kangas Khan. Uh, that's a like tier, baby. Yeah, I like it more. I like Kangas Khan a lot, both uh, design-wise and as an absolute Chad that I use constantly in Pokemon TCG because she has 120 health and if you stack four energies on her, she deals 100 damage per pop without having to sacrifice an energy card. She's a queen. Jeez. I love her. <laughs> Absolute, just thriving queen. I love her so much. Anytime I get to use a Kangaskhan in my Pokemon TCG games, I sweep. Where the hell did you find Alola Marowak? Me? No, uh, PJ said I found Alola Marowak. He said it disappeared. It, oh, did it disappear into the void? <laughs> Horsey. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. A uh, horsey. horsey. I like horsey. Not my favorite. A I like it. I like well, A tier? No, maybe B. It's cute. I like it. It's cute. Oh, probably not better than Sans. Probably, yeah, probably there. That's fine. I think I like Cedra more than horsey. I do as well. I like Cedra more. It looks better. Um, Goldeen. Goldeen. It's... Goldeen. E. That's a fish. Yeah. It's a D. I like Sea King better. Sea King still not great, more than Chansey, yeah. Staryu. I think Staryu's really damn cool. I like Staryu as well. It's a fish, but it's Starfish. <laughs> I like Star Me better, though. Oh, yeah, Star Me's way cooler. It's like two Staryus. Um, uh, I see. I a. see. What's an A? Star Me. Yeah, I wouldn't put it in A personally, but I do like it. Galarian Mr. Mott native. 
Eh, not yeah. native. F. Uh, Mr. Mime, no. below it. Uh, both of them are going in trash. I hate both of them. Scyther, you're cool, buddy. Scyther, uh, A. on an A tier. Higher or lower than Abra, you think? Uh, I put it lower. I like Abra better. But I'm also biased because I like cute Pokemon more than I like cool Pokemon. Jinx, higher or lower than Mr. Mime? Trash. Very bottom. I can't stand Jinx. Electabuzz. I like Electabuzz. I like Electabuzz a lot. Where is my Elekid, though? Elekid's my favorite one. Elekid will be in when we do our Johto stream. Okay, fair. Fine. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to close this tab till the next time we stream Pokemon. <laughs> what was the first way you ever got an Abra? Oh, I'll, uh... First way I ever got an Abra was I was playing Fire Red. I went up past uh, the Nugget Bridge, and I just ran into one. I threw a Pokeball at it, and I caught him. The rest is history. Hmm. Magmar. I, I like Magmar. I do not like him more than Electabuzz. I would agree. I like Magmar not more than Electabuzz, for sure. Ooh, Mega Heracross. Mega Heracross. I actually really it's like this. cool. Video. I really like this Mega. I'll put that in an A tier, actually. I really like that one. Regular I'm Pinsir? Not... Also cool, but not as cool. It's fine. I'll put it in C. It's fine. Tauros. Uh, it's a C. Is neat. I like Tauros. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Magikarp. Got mine at the game corner and leave green. That's the way to do it. Magikarp. He's a B. I like Magikarp. I like, I like Magikarp. Magikarp. Uh, he... I'm also kind of biased because I love Magikarp Jump, which is a little mobile app that you can play. Like I was saying earlier, I play some really weird-ass obscure Pokemon games. Uh, Mega, Mega Gyarados. Gyarados. Don't like it that much. Not gonna lie. I like it. It's just like you're really chonky. I mean, I'm not saying I hate it. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, though. I it's like it more than Magmar. Really? Regular Gyarados. I don't. Regular Gyarados. That's an, that's an A, baby. I love regular Gyarados. Probably more than the Pinsir. Yeah, I'm putting Maybe Gyarados. More than Scyther, F. honestly. Uh, I don't like Gigantamax Lapras. Yeah, I'm putting it in E. Garbage. I never used it. Rarely ever saw it. Don't care. Lapras, on the other hand. I love Lapras. Beauty. Yes, Nessie, she's beauty, my she's Lapras. Grace. Fucking great. I like Lapras. It's cute. It's fun. I like it. We've almost rounded out my entire Kanto team. <laughs> really? Uh -huh, we're getting there. Yeah, we're almost done with the Kanto region, actually. We are. So close. Ditto. I like Ditto. Ditto's I like Ditto's. B. I get more than Mega fucking... Crab. Okay. Uh, having a, my Chimchar use Taunt on an Abra was how I discovered Struggle. Yeah. <laughs> it can't use any move, which means it struggles. Yep. Gigantamax Eevee. It's fine. It's just like a It's just Eevee, Eevee, but floofier. Yeah, it's fine. Put it in which C. Which I'm I actually saying helps it, honestly. No, it doesn't really. The original Eevee is best Eevee. Best Eevee. By and that's far. why it is an A. I think. I think I like it. Ooh. Yeah, you're up here, Eevee, for sure. I like Eevee. I... Yeah, there we go. Vaporeon! Uh, native. <laughs> really? Nah. Um. I love Vaporeon, but if any of you motherfuckers puts the copy pasta in somebody's chat, I'm ending your career. Jolteon, fucking. I love Jolteon. Oh. Why but in the second, happen? second to the top of S. I love Jolteon. Good old Cloud, my boy. Not only is he Cloud because he's like a thundercloud, but he's like Fox McCloud. <laughs> I just really like it because I have this really sick um, full art character card of Jolteon, like Gary's Jolteon, which is really cool. I like it a lot. Flareon is. That's my least favorite of these evolutions. It is. It, Vaporeon and Jolteon are better than Flareon. Flareon's fine, but 
I think that of the evolutions, evil it's probably one of the weaker ones, more on like the level of Leafeon and Glaceon. Porygon. Eh. Gave kids seizures. Not my favorite. <laughs> the... Ah, the, uh, you kind of. I'm not a big fan. And here we are. This is an S tier baby. Ammonite. Yeah. <laughs> I was always more of a Kabutops guy. No. Well, I mean, they're both great, but look at him. That is just the cutest little Cthulhu you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. He's very cute. I also uh, am a big fan of Kabutops, but I like Ammonite a lot. Almost died. So is the only one of the original three I've, ever, I've never used. S for the memes. All hail Lord Helix. Yep, 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 yep. Kabutops. Uh, Kabuto, I mean, I have to put near the top. It's very yeah, cute. Come on. And then Kabutops is really fucking Is really fucking what? Cool. Eh. I always liked the uh, other one better, the armadillo looking guy. Uh, just for my sanity, I'm not going to be ranking Galarian bird Pokemon. No, I'm not either. I don't care for any of them. I just haven't done anything with them. I, I, I have no opinion. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't. Mega Aerodactyl. Trash. Trash, really? I hate it. I, once again, we've fallen into the pitfall. I don't like Pokemon with facial hair, and he has facial hair. I hate it. <laughs> uh, Aerodactyl. I like Aerodactyl. That's going to be a B Really, for me. really cool. I'm putting him in A. But like much up. Uh, Snorlax, Gigantamax. Native. Native. I hate, I hate Snorlax and Gigantamax. Native. I hate it. I don't like it either. Regular is Snorlax is a god. Chad. Chad. Shit. Chad. Absolute Chad. <laughs> um, we're ignoring the birds. Well, I love, we could do the normal legendary birds. Articuno. Articuno I think is that... really fucking awesome. Top yeah, of A. I, I mean, I think Articuno is more of a B for me personally. Because Zapdos is my boy that's going in A. I like Zapdos a lot. I think I like Articuno a little bit more than Zapdos. Just a little bit. Really? I like Zapdos. He just, he's spiky. I like it. He is very so, spiky. Yeah. Uh, and then Moltres is, in my opinion, the weakest. I would agree. I don't like Moltres very much at all. I'll put it in C, I think. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, here we go. All of these boys are going in A. Dratini, I like you more than Vaporeon. Dragonair, uh, I like you more than Ponyta. I like and Dragonite, S. you round out the team. You're my ass. Uh, nice. If you guys are curious, the top of S right now, my top six, was my first ever fucking... Uh, team ever. Charizard, <laughs> Jolteon, Nidoking, Snorlax, Dragonite, and Laparax. Um, once we get through the Mew and Mewtwo, I'll read off my S tiers as well. Mega Mewtwo X. Uh, it's fine. C. It's, or... it's not my favorite. Yeah, no D, actually. I'm gonna put Mega Mewtwo X in D and Mega Mewtwo Y in C. Yeah, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I like Rattata more than Mega Mewtwo X. Mega I Mewtwo agree. Y, I like more. I agree, hundred percent. I like it. I like it better. That was the one thing that sucked is that in Pokemon X we got the cooler Legendary and the cooler Charizard, but Pokemon Y had the cooler Mewtwo, which sucked. I had the cooler Charizard. Um, it did not. It's Goku. <laughs> yeah. the Mega Charizard. Uh, excuse me, Mega Mewtwo X. Um, I'm put normal Mewtwo in like a B tier. I don't love it. However, it's chubby little pink cousin. Oh, it's wait, Mewtwo. Point. Ah, Mewtwo's so cool, man. I'm putting him just above Abra. Where did it go? Where did where did Mew go? Fuck. There we go. Hold on, Mew's messing in action. I found him. Okay, come on, bud. <laughs> Mew's MIA. <laughs> yeah, he was. Uh, I I was trying to scroll up and I accidentally right clicked and opened my print menu instead. There we go. Mew's there. And there we go. All right. So my that S's. Is, oh, 151 plus a billion fucking different forms. 
<laughs> Kento Pokemon. Yes. Before we call it a night, um, I'm going to go ahead and read off of all of my S tiers for the folks that are on your stream. I will read off so, my S tiers as well once you're done. Sweet. Um, top of S, we have uh, Pokemon, like Charizard X Mega. I love it. It's cool. Blue and black. You love to see it. Then I have regular Charizard. Then I have Mew. Then I have Arcanine. Then I have Ivysaur. Then I have Omanyte. And then I have Gengar. I have Charizard, Jolteon, Nido King, Snorlax, Dragonite, Lapras, Mega Charizard Y, Mega Charizard X, Squirtle, Arcanine, Arbok, Growlithe, I was gonna say Watson, Alolan, Raichu, <laughs> Rapidash, Gengar, and Gyarados. Yeah. Man, you were way more generous with your S tiers than I was. Well, I've done way more Nuzlocks. That's very fair. But, yeah. Everybody folks, in my fucking top S has been in a Nuzlocke. <laughs> yeah. For me, the ones that are in the top S are just some of my favorite designs. Um, okay. Well, folks, this is unfortunately where I'm going to have to call it a night. I probably As am I. should have, because I do have work early tomorrow. But it was super fun. Uh, we say we'll next definitely... week we do the Johto region. Um, absolutely. As a matter of fact, even this week, if we can find time, I'd be down to do that. Unlikely. The... Yeah. <laughs> I am a busy fucking boy. <laughs> I am quite busy myself, but I've been trying to find time to do this kind of stuff more often. Here. But, um, yeah, I don't know when my next stream will be, but hey, this is going to be on YouTube, so if you want to watch it again and show your friends to roast my choice in Pokemon, it's going to be on my YouTube channel. Uh, and if you also want to check out my YouTube channel, I should hopefully finish editing my next episode of Portal very soon. Uh, it's in progress currently. I'm about halfway done with the editing on it. It's taking me a while because editing always takes me a while because I suck at it. Um, but it should hopefully be up soon. But yeah, that's about all I've got to say. So thank you everybody that tuned in for my streams. Oh, and thank you all so much for the 10 followers. As soon as possible, I'm going to try to get the... Uh, art hookups so I can start doing my art streams. It came just in time for Art Fight next uh, month, which I'm super excited about, so that'll be really fun. So... What is Art Okay, so for the uninitiated, Art Fight is basically once a year, usually it's, I think it, every year is in July, they hold this contest on a website called artfight.com, which is, it's not really a contest, I guess, but a bunch of artists just register and post a bunch of their original characters and designs on the website with a bunch of references. And then they split the artists on the website into two teams. I think last year the two teams were Steampunk and Cyberpunk. And you get assigned randomly to a team. And basically you earn your team points by quote unquote attacking other artists. Which basically means you just draw their characters. And you can do them either in collaboration with your own character or just on their own. And then when you attack, you get a certain number of points based off of the complexity of your art. So extra points if it's full color, extra points for shading, extra points for background, extra, po extra points for extra characters. And you get a point total, which goes to your team's total score. And basically it's artists quote unquote battling one another by drawing each other's characters. It's really just a way though for artists to kind of network, make friends, and just draw art of other people's characters and practice and get free art of their own characters. It's super fun. Last year was the first year I did it, and I only participated, I think, half of the month because I got super busy. But I'm hoping this year to be more consistent and do more than four drawings for it. So, we'll see. <laughs> but it's amazing. If you draw, you should totally check it out. I think it's a really great opportunity. And yeah, I'm going to be working on stuff for Art Fight all of next month. So being able to kind of collaborate my streams and my art will be super helpful. All right. Well, I think yeah. that's going to be it. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming to join my stream and Usher. Uh, yes. I hope you all have a splendid night. And if you haven't mm -hmm. yet, you should go follow her stream right now. Oh, uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> hush, hush, kid. Yeah, that's me. 
But I'm my going streams to... are a little bit more sporadic than the custodians ones, but I do my best. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can I raid somebody? Is that something I can? Yeah, you should be able to. I don't think I can because I don't know if I have enough people to raid, but you should be able to. I have no idea if I could do that from. Uh, I can I raid if... channel. Um, I wonder if Quill I mean, is it really worth raiding if... <laughs> you can raid channels. You can raid channels you follow that are online, but I just don't have any channels that are online that I think people would be interested. You know, I'll raid Moist Critical. Sure, screw it. He's playing a game called Weed Shop 3, so have fun. <laughs> uh... Ah, screw yeah. it. I'll raid Moist as well. Fuck it. Yeah. Go Moist Critical. I'm raiding him. Alright. Bye, folks. <laughs> oh, wait. Did I do that wrong? So, start raid. Good. Okay. One viewer is ready to raid. Two viewers are ready to raid. Hopefully, he's doing something interesting. <laughs> um, Alright. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead I'll and just... raid him. All right, well, I'm not, because I'm going to have to pull something else up, and I'm just, I'm too lazy. So, Fair. good night, everybody. Good night. Well, it was fun.